Good morning, church, and welcome to Sunday, November 27th. James Motley will start us with Rock of Ages. <laughs> Sunday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by L. Cecile Adams. And our scripture reading this morning is Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem built as a city that is bound firmly together. To it the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord, as was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there he, the thrones of judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Sunday, November 27th. This is the beginning of Advent, the season of preparation for the coming of Christ. How fitting then that Psalm 122, a song of pilgrimage to Jerusalem, the writer asks that we pray for peace, especially for Jerusalem. Perhaps it's fitting for us in this season of expectation of the coming of the Prince of Peace to pray for peace within the walls of all our cities and towns, for peace within the house that we live in and the family and the friends that make up our circle of life. We have the opportunity to start a pilgrimage, but the destination is Bethlehem instead of Jerusalem. A religious pilgrimage is usually a journey to a designated religious site where God has done something that was life-changing and life-enriching for someone or a group of people. Psalm 122 was one of many psalms used by worshipers on their way to the most holy sites. The Temple of Jerusalem Mary and Joseph could well have reflected on these words as they made pilgrimage to Bethlehem. Perhaps they prayed for peace within the walls of Jerusalem and Bethlehem. Now as we begin our Advent pilgrimage, may we show homage to the one who is coming by actively working and praying for peace. And as we do, may we not hasten through these days, but Rather, savor our time by recalling and renewing our commitment to follow the way of Christ, whose birth we await. Let us pray. O loving God, enter. we enter into this time of anticipation with gratitude for the one that we await. We are grateful for the time to focus on our armchair pilgrimage to Bethlehem. And may the gifts that we want to bring to the baby Jesus be the gifts that we willingly and lovingly give to the whole world. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, verse 1.
Blessings to you.